I'm going to show you now how to configure Apache to use CGI and server-side includes. So I have a server here. First we need to install our Apache web server. Do yum install HTTP. And that will get us our Apache server. Sometimes it's called HTTPD, um, like on CentOS 7. Uh, some distributions Linux call it Apache and some call it Apache 2. Anyway, now it's installed. It puts its configuration files in the HTTPD directory in the etc. So etc HTTPD. You go over here and you can see there are a couple of directories. There's the conf and the conf.d. They're both really important. So we're going to go into conf and we'll take a look around. There's the httpd.conf file, and we're going to edit that one. And so we do nano on httpd.conf. Um, when Apache starts up, normally it, it complains about um, the name of the server not being correct, not being set. Um, you can set your email address here if you want. So if you put a server name here, it'll be a little bit happier. Um, since CentOS 7, it doesn't report the same kind of errors. So you don't have to worry as much, but the errors are still there. All right, so now server name is set. I go down, and in this um, var www.html directory section is where we set all of the rules for the, um, well, the main directories. So I want to add server side includes. So it's includes as an option. And I want to use CGI. So it's exec CGI, just like that. And they're on this options line. Um, up above, you can see there's a list of possible options. So there's uh, exec CGI and includes right there. All right. Next, we need to make sure that these things are enabled in the system somewhere. So you scroll down, and the on CentOS 7, the server side includes is already enabled, but on this, but CGI is not enabled, so we have to add the handler in here. So this is add handler CGI script dot CGI. We want to uncomment that line, which will allow us to then. Um, see all files that have a .cgi extension and treat them as if they are CGI. This right here, the add type .shtml and the includes .shtml. These both make it so the .shtml server side includes work. All right, so now we've got that taken care of. Um, the last thing I would probably want to do is find the um, directory index. So when you go to a web page, um, the default page that you usually load is your index.html. And we don't always want it to be just the index.html. We want it to do index.html if it's there, but if it's not there, we also want to use index.shtml and um, index.cgi. So what it'll do is if it finds an index.html, it'll do that one first. If not, it will look and see there's an index.shtml. And if not, it will look and see there's an index.cgi. And if not, it will go to its default index, which is probably listing the files in the directory. All right, so now we've got that all taken care of. We can start our Apache web server now. So we do systemctl start httpd, and we want to make it so it starts automatically at boot time, so we change it to enable. So now we will automatically start. We also want to set our firewall so it allows connections coming in. So it's firewall dash cmd add service equals httpd or http. We don't have the d because it's well the firewall is different. And we add permanent so that it will stay there the next time the firewall is restarted. All right, so these 
things are now enabled, but we want to actually go in and create some pages to test it. So if we go to var www.html directory, we have nothing there. So we're going to create an index.shtml and also an, an index or maybe a file for CGI. So let's do the CGI one first. So if we do test.cgi, we're going to edit that one. We can create our CGI script. So we're going to do this one in Python. And in the CGI script, what you have to do is basically do everything the web server would have done, providing the header and the web page. So I will um, print my header first. And it's a content type, and it's text slash HTML. And I'll do blank line afterwards. This makes it so that um, we have a blank line between our header and the HTML body. And then we can go directly into printing our HTML. If we wanted to, we could go with the full um, doc type HTML thing and, and start there. Um, or we can just skip that and go directly into um, making our HTML, our HTML tags. And I'm going to have it just print one little thing, print um, CGI works. You probably want to do something different, but that's how we do it. All right, now the CGI script is done. Now I have to make it so the CGI script will actually run. If you look in the directory, you can see that the CGI script is not executable. So we need to change the permissions, 755, for test.cgi. Now you can run it with a period slash test.cgi to make sure it runs. And you can see it runs. However, Apache will not be allowed to run it because of the um, SE Linux configurations. Um, if you do ls minus al capital Z, you can see the, it is currently an httpd sys content t type. We need to change that for all CGI scripts. So we do a ch con minus t, change the context type. We're going to change it to HTTPD sys script exec t for this uh, test. All right. Now, if we wanted to, we can switch over to a client machine and try loading the page. So we do our server, server.example.com. We run that. It'll show us our default page, which we don't want to see. We do test.cgi. We can see the CGI is working. All right. Now we want to do the make an index.shtml. So we do you know, index.shtml. This one does not need its context type changed. All we're fine with the way it is. All right. So we can do our regular doc type stuff if we want. Um, and we get down to our HTML portion. And inside of our HTML, we want to actually load the CGI script to show that we can do it. So we're going to do a include statement. And we're going to tell it the file name is going to be our test.cgi. And this right here, if you have SHTML turned on, we'll use it. If not, it will just ignore this line. All right, so we save that. Actually, let's go in and add some else in here. Hold on. Running SHTML. All right, so we'll put that in our header also. Nice, so two big headers if it works correctly. So what it should do is say running a shtml, and then it should say right below it, CGI works. And so we go back to our client machine, 
we change this to uh, index shtml and it says running shtml and cgi works you can take out the the singer here and you can use the directory index is also causing it to go to the index.shtml and that is how you get shtml and cgi working with apache